Now let us consider solenoid and a coil around this solenoid. There is a current in solenoid. This current generates magnetic field and if the current increases, magnetic field also increases. The first question is, during this increase, is there a current IC in the coil? One of my students suggested the following solution. He considered the loop placed in magnetic field B, which points out of the page. When B increases, it will appear induced EMF and induced current in the loop, according to Faraday's law. Then he considered the situation which was described previously. When we have coil outside of the solenoid, magnetic field, as we know, is completely restricted to the area of solenoid. It is inside of the solenoid. There is no magnetic field outside of the solenoid. For this reason, the student concluded that there is no induced EMF and there is no induced current in the loop. IC is equal to zero. The solution is very simple, but unfortunately it is not correct. Now where is the mistake? To answer this question, let us consider the problem in more details. Here is a cross-section of the system. We see here solenoid and magnetic field inside solenoid, and here is the coil. When B increases, in the space around magnetic field appears electric field, and the field lines of this electric field have circular shape. There is also induced EMF in the coil due to this field and this induced EMF can be found on the basis of Faraday's law. Here N is the number of turns in the coil. Delta phi is the change of magnetic flux through the cross section of solenoid and delta T is the time of this change. And this EMF creates the current in the coil and the direction of this current can be found using the Lenz law, which states that induced current has a direction such that the induced magnetic field due to this current points in opposite direction to change of the flux. In our case, the flux points out of page and increases, so induced magnetic field should point into the page as shown here. Such a magnetic field can be created by induced current only in the case when current is clockwise. We use here the right-hand rule. EMF also works in clockwise direction. Now, magnitude of induced current can be calculated using the Ohm's law, and uh, this is a proof that in this system indeed will appear induced current. Next we will consider a specific example uh, when all parameters involved in calculations are given. Let's suppose that coil has 120 turns, radius 1.8 cm, and a resistance 5.3 ohms. Solenoid has turn density 220 turns per cm, diameter of the solenoid 3.2 cm, current, induced current changes from 0 to 1.5 amp in 25 milliseconds. We need to find induced current in the coil. As we already know, induced current is equal induced EMF divided over resistance of the coil. Induced EMF is given by 
Faraday's law. And we can state that flux through the coil is equal flux to the solenoid because outside solenoid there is no magnetic field. So to find delta F we need to consider flux in solenoid. This flux is equal magnitude of magnetic field times area of the solenoid because magnetic field is parallel to the solenoid's axis. Magnetic field in solenoid is given by this equation, which you can find in any textbook on magnetism. Area of the cross-section of solenoid is pi rs squared. rs is radius of the solenoid. We plug in both of this quantity to this equation and get the following answer. Let us note that here all quantities but is are constant, so change of the flux is given by this equation. We plug in this equation to Faraday's law and get the following equation for induced EMF, which we need now to calculate. When we calculate, we can divide over R and find induced current. To calculate current, first what we will do is uh, to convert all quantities we need to standard units. We start with N, which is 20 turns per centimeter, and it is equal to 2.2 times 10 to the 4 turns per meter. A radius of solenoid is one half of diameter, or 0 0.016 meter. Change of the current, delta Is, equal 1.5 amp. The permeability of the space is uh, given by this number. So we plug in all this stuff to this equation and we will get the answer. Induced EMF equal 0.016 volts. Dividing by resistance, which is 5.3 ohms, we get the final answer that current is equal 30 milliamps. The problem is solved completely. If you like this video, you may want to click like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel.